Welcome everybody. We are here at the very glamorous Club 23 at Crown for the 2016 Tab Melbourne Cup media lunch. Lots of VIP guests here who we spoke to on our way in. So let's go in and check it out. We're here with Aussie cricketer James Patterson. James, who will you be watching on Friday night? Uh, well, it's going to be an exciting race, but um, look, I can't go past the favourite, Zambora Brocky. He's, um, his heat win last week was outstanding. I think he ran 29.08 or something like that. And, um, you know, he just pinged the lids and, and never looked back from there. So, um, you know, you really can't go past him. Well, Ali, it's going to be a magnificent night at Sandown Park. And most punters will be keeping a keen eye on Zambora Brocky. was heavily back to win the final last week, firming from $8 into six fifty, And on the back of that brilliant heat victory, firmed all the way to $2.10. Drawn nicely in box three. And I reckon the crowd will arrive if the favourite can get the prize. I've been told not to judge everything on form, so I'm going with names and I'm going with Jezelenko, only because he's a great footballer back in the day. So, And I've always been told the one and eight dogs, so, and he's number eight, so I'm going with that. Beautiful. And you're a Gap Ambassador. How has that been so far for you? Yeah, it's been great. It's a really feel-good story about Greyhounds when they finish. So um, I'm actually getting involved myself as well by fostering one for a little while. So, um, yeah, I'm very passionate about it and I love it. Friday night, I've got Jezelenko. I know it's coming from box number eight, but I still think it's a really good chance. Well, I would say Jezelenko, but I'm a Collingwood supporter, so I refuse to say Jezelenko. Uh, and I know it hasn't been a race for favourites in recent years, so I'm going to go one of the rank outsiders in Barton Bale. I like the run of the Czech dog uh, Wormburner from South Australia, which is, looks like it's got its head around the Sandown Park facility a bit better. And I thought Ando's Mac in the five, all bit drawn a bit awkwardly, he's got a chance, but you can't go past the champ, I don't think. For me, it's purely Zambora Brocky. I think he's the best greyhound in Australia. Uh, I think his last three starts at Sandown Park have been exemplary. Uh, he won the green. Group two shootout, two starts back. Box three to me, look, probably needs to get around Barton Bar, but we're talking about a, a big race dog such as Zambora Brocky. He's done it before and I think he can do it again. Well, Ellie, most of the support has been for Zambora Brocky. He was as much as $14 when we actually had the market up, which opened in mid June, so there's been plenty of support there. He was flying in the heat last Friday night, a tenth outside the track record, so outstanding there. Got a soft spot for Wormburner, watched him win the Nationals there at Angle Park. Wasn't great in the top gun and was a bit slow out in the shootout, but he was back to his brilliant breast last Friday night and wish I had something on him at the $7.50. Myself and Chloe were both keen on Zambora Brock. He's had a terrific year and look, there's no doubt if he gets a clear run and he can just get by Wormburner running wide early, he'll claim the Melbourne Cup and it'll be a memorable year and a, a great race, no doubt. Well, all eyes are on Zambora Brocky, the favourite for Friday night's Melbourne Cup, but we know it's not a race for favourites, so we'll have to wait and see who will be the winner of the Tab Melbourne Cup.